How's it going guys? Welcome to the first episode of AutoCAD for Noobs. Okay, so this is a series that I've created for those of you guys who are looking into learning AutoCAD the simplest way possible. So for this episode, we are going to start with the basics, which is the line command. Okay, so first and foremost, you guys got to open up your AutoCAD program. So for this one, I'm using the AutoCAD version 2015. So after opening your program, go ahead and make a new sheet. You could press Ctrl N or you could just click the main AutoCAD pull down tab on the upper left corner and select new. Okay, so once you've clicked that, a box will appear with a ton of like confusing items. So these are basically templates for your work area. So you guys could create your own templates later on, but for the purposes of this video, we are going to select AutoCAD.BWT. Okay, so just click on open and that should bring you to our drawing sheet. And congratulations guys, you are now on your first step to becoming a legendary AutoCAD master. Anyways, before we learn how to make lines, let us first learn how to navigate our drawing sheet. So to zoom in and out, you just need to use your mouse scroll wheel. That's simple. Then to move our sheet around, you can just click down on your mouse scroll wheel and that will activate the pan function which lets you drag your drawing area around, like so. And boom, you guys just leveled up. You are now a level 1 draftsman. Or let's just call it AutoCADs man, because that just sounds cooler. Kind of like a huntsman, but with AutoCAD. Anyways, now if you look at your drawing area, you will see this X, Y axis on your screen. So this is basically a reference point 000 of your drawing sheet. Now that we know how to navigate to our AutoCAD drawing sheet, let us begin with the actual fun stuff. So to do anything in AutoCAD, you can either click it on the toolbar just above your drawing sheet or you can just type a command in your keyboard. So to activate a command, just type in a corresponding command word. For example, to create a line, you can just type in line or you could just type in letter L as a shortcut. So as you type your command, you should see your keystrokes register on the command bar below. So in case you guys make a mistake, just press escape to undo then just retype your command. In order to activate your command, just press enter key or your spacebar. But me personally, I like using the spacebar to activate commands. Once a command is active, you should see your mouse cursor turn into a simple cross instead of the original one with a box in the middle. So that is a good indication that you have successfully cast your spell. I mean, activated your command. Okay, so let's do that again, shall we? Type in line or L for short, then press spacebar now once your cursor has changed, so just click on any space on your drawing sheet and BAM! You have now established the first point of your line. So to establish the second point, just click anywhere on your drawing sheet and there you go, you now have a line. Now AutoCAD will keep producing lines after you place the end point of your first line and you can make as much lines as your heart desires. But if you are happy with the lines you've produced, you can just click on the spacebar again to deactivate your line command. And ba bam Congratulations, you are now a level 2 AutoCADs man. And you have just acquired a new skill called Line Summoning. Ninjutsu, I don't know. I don't know how to make Naruto seals. Anyways, let's move on. Okay, now that we know how to summon lines, let's learn how to control the lines that you have just summoned. So one of the must-know commands every AutoCADs man must know by heart are the function key commands. So these are your commands from F1 to F11. So for line summoning, we only need to know two function commands. So the first command is F3. So this function is called object snap. Basically, it lets you snap one end of your line onto another end of a line or middle of a line or to a perpendicular area. So to put it simply, it kind of magnets one point of your line onto another key point of an existing line. Okay, so this is very important since we don't want to have those unjoined lines on your drawing that look joined from afar but when you zoom in it's actually not connected so yeah that's to avoid that sort of situation the second function command you must know is the f8 or the orthographic function so what this does is it makes your line snap to 90 degree angles meaning you can only make lines go straight up down left or right so it's kind of like using a t-square and triangles in autocad and with that knowledge you can now proceed to creating our first shape so since you guys are just level 2 AutoCADs men, we are going to start with a simple square. So to begin, we can go ahead and activate our F3 and F8 commands. Then let's start to make our line. Press L then space bar to activate. Then click on your drawing surface and now we have our first point. Now you could just drag your mouse to what direction you want your line to go. 
For me, I'll go to the right. Now, all we have to do is set the length of this line. Personally, I like to input my measurements in millimeters. So let's just type in 50 millimeters. Then click on spacebar to activate. And bam, we now have a 50 millimeter straight line. Now just repeat the process for all sides of our square. And when you're done, just click on spacebar again to terminate our line sequence. And tada, you are now a level 3 AutoCADs man and have learned the skill shape making. Congratulations guys. Now just as an exercise, let's create a smaller square in the middle of our first square. But this time, the square must have 45 degree sides. So the final output drawing should look something like this. Quick tip, deactivate your F8 command so you can manipulate your line at any angles. Okay, so first thing we have to do is activate our line command again. Now we have to place our first point on the center of this line. So just point your cursor to roughly the center of this line and a small green triangle should show up, indicating that your first point will snap to the midpoint of that line. So if it doesn't do that, we can go to our function command tab on the lower left corner of our window and right click on the object snap toggle button and that should bring out this options drawer. You should be able to click on what parts of the object you want to snap to your line points. To make it easier, just copy what I have selected on my object snap drawer and you should be good to go. And now just continue to draw the smaller square inside the large square. So if you guys make a mistake, just do some control Z magic or you could erase it with the eraser command which is the shortcut command E. Or if you want to do it the long way, select the wrong line and just press delete. So just random information guys, a ton of other Windows commands work with AutoCAD as well like Ctrl C, Ctrl V, Ctrl X, and Ctrl S which brings us to our next step which is saving your file. So now that you guys have a proper drawing, let's save your progress. There are multiple ways to do this but the easiest way is to just click Ctrl plus S. So if this is your first time saving your project, a box should appear prompting you to select where to save your project and what project name to save it under. Okay, so for this one, I'll just save it in our desktop and name it Squareception. And bada beam bada boom, you are now a level 4 AutoCADs man. Yay! You have now completed your first quest into the magical world of AutoCAD and computer-aided drafting and design. And on that awesome note, I'm afraid I must bid you fair adventurers Adieu. For that is all the time we have today, so stay tuned for our next episode where we learn advanced line summoning techniques like how to create lines at specific angles and how to create lot bearings and all that good stuff. So don't forget to subscribe if you want to become a level 69 AutoCAD Paladin such as myself. And also like and leave a comment down below if you enjoyed this weird video I did. Anyways, I will see you guys on our next adventure. Flying Peace!